The Tibetan Mastiff is a powerful and intelligent dog that is distinguished by its impressive size and weight. They have been known in Tibet since ancient times. They guarded monasteries and coped with this task perfectly, being attentive guards of order. The Tibetan Mastiff is a loving, understanding and patient dog. Centuries of working with humans have taught this breed to understand people well. According to the classification of the International Sinological Association, the Tibetan Mastiff belongs to guard and guard dogs. It follows from this that dogs of this breed are well suited to protect the territory and the owner himself while remaining loyal companions. Their character is balanced, but at the same time harsh. Despite the fact that he is extremely loyal and loves spending time with the owner, he is not always ready to obey, especially when he is sure that he is right. This is an independent and stubborn breed. The Tibetan doctor is smart and has a strong sense of self-worth, so he believes that he should be treated as an equal. He wants to please his loved ones, but often has his own plans, so sometimes he has to be reminded of what he was asked to do. The Mastiff is not inclined to show nervousness, cowardice, or baseless aggression. This is a restrained and independent animal that behaves with royal dignity and never barks over trifles. The barking of this huge dog is able to instill fear in anyone. The volume of barking is a feature of this breed and is caused by the size of the chest and well-developed lungs. If you are a sociable enough person and regularly invite guests to tea, the Mastiff will not fully accept this fact and will attempt to limit the number of people in your house. Tibetans do not like noisy companies because they see them as a potential threat. Families with children should also pay attention to this fact. Excessively active and loud games of a child with his friends can be perceived by a Tibetan as a manifestation of aggression. Representatives of this breed show dominance in relation to other pets. The exception is pets, with which the growth of Tibetans. In this case, the dog considers them members of his pack. This applies equally to cats and other dog breeds. However, it is not recommended to get new animals if an adult mastiff already lives in your house. In this case, rivalry cannot be avoided. In the family circle, Tibetans behave friendly and love to spend time with the owner. Beware if your pet gets bored. Tibetan Mastiffs tend to gnaw on everything within their sight. If you value your furniture, take care of a sufficient number of toys. Such a large doll will be uncomfortable even in a medium-sized apartment. The best place for a Tibetan Mastiff is a house with a large plot. If you have a yard, make sure it is well fenced. These dogs can easily climb over a low fence and run away. The Mastiff also likes to dig holes. Walking for the Tibetan Great Dane is a pleasure. They really like to walk slowly around the perimeter of the protected area, making periodic runs from one end to the other. Physical activity forms a powerful dog, ready to fight for the life and property of the owner. Socialization is very important for dogs of this breed. Take your Tibetan Mastiff with you to shops, parks, and other places where dogs are allowed to be during walks. It is best to stick to different routes so that the Tibetan Mastiff does not consider the places familiar to him as its territory. Like all large breeds, Tibetan Mastiffs mature for a long time. For this reason, they can remain playful and carefree for up to three or four years. These dogs are not for novice dog breeders. The Mastiff will obey only with proper training which will allow a person and a dog to understand each other. This breed does not perceive a person as the leader of the pack, but rather considers the owner to be his equal. The dog is quite wayward. You should not expect unquestioning obedience from her, but you can teach her elementary commands. Of all these facts, standard training programs are not suitable for this breed. They need a special approach based on trust and love. Patience tactics are your main weapon, in the process of raising an animal and teaching it new commands, the Tibetan Mastiff has a thick long coat and a very thick undercoat. A dog of this breed should be combed at least once a week, washed as it gets dirty. In the cold season, the wool becomes thicker, so that by summer, the Tibetans begin to molt. At this time, 
the dog needs to be combed more often due to the presence of a very thick, heavy coat. These dogs are poorly suited for life in a very hot, humid climate. Although it is easier for these dogs to tolerate high temperatures in a dry climate, dogs of this breed rarely get sick. Some individuals live up to 17 years, but there are predispositions, hip and elbow dysplasia, ear infections, thyroid diseases. It should also be understood that dogs of large breeds are prone to heart and joint diseases. Due to their heavy weight, the Tibetan Mastiff is rightfully considered the property of a mysterious corner of the globe, the roof of the world, called Tibet. Representatives of this breed are reliable and fearless defenders who are not devoid of self-esteem and independent character. The centuries-old duet of man and mastiff taught the latter to show remarkable patience and understanding. However, the desire to have such a pet as a Tibetan mastiff is not enough. We need knowledge, experience, and the ability to handle such animals. A person without experience may not be able to cope with the stubborn character of a Tibetan. If you properly educate a dog from childhood, and show her who is the boss in the house. She will turn out to be a vigilant guard, a faithful friend and companion for games. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss our latest videos. Check out our other content and be sure to hit that notification bell.